Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of multiplication, specifically how we can multiply two-digit numbers with area models, and we'll do it in five minutes or less. So you see on the top I've got a simple problem, 28 times 17. And so what I have here, I'm going to take my 28, I'm going to represent it with base 10 blocks. So 28, and you can actually count the squares if you want to make sure that we're doing it correctly. 28 is actually going to be made up of two tens blocks. There's my 20. Then I need eight individual blocks or eight ones. So I'm going to count those out. I'm just going to kind of draw it like this. And remember, your ones cubes are each separated into individual little cubes. So we're going to draw like this, and we're going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's my 28. Now I'm going to take my 17. And as you can see, I've already kind of marked out where that 10 is going to go. So there's my 10. And then my 17, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, goes all the way down to the very bottom. But these are 1s. So we need to make sure that we separate them like this. I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there's my 28 on the top and my 17 on the bottom. How we use area models is we break each model here into four parts. The first is going to be the tens times the tens. Time the tens. And then you're going to be the 10 by the ones of the other number. And then finally, you're going to multiply the ones by the ones. So you see I've got four four big sections here. The first one is obviously going to be the tens and the tens. So let's take a look at this. I've got 20 across the top and I've got 10 down the side. 20 columns, 10 rows. Well, if you've ever multiplied anything by 10, it's pretty simple. You take the number and then you simply add a zero. That's what happens when you multiply by 10. You move the place value over and you add a zero. So I've got 200 squares right here. I'm going to keep track of my partial products over here on the side. Now I've got 8 across and I've got 10 down. That's 8 times 10. Well, that is going to be a simple fact. 8 times 10 is 80. If you wanted to, you can count the squares that are actually on the screen. Now I've got over here, I've got 20 across, but remember there's 7 down. So if you want, you can count all the squares. Just like when you multiply any number by 10, you add a 0, there's a trick to multiplying by a multiple of 10. 20 is not 10, but it's a multiple of 10. So what you do is you take your two non-zero numbers, non-zero digits. In this case, it's 2 and 7. Multiply those, 14. And then just like... Multiplying by a zero, you add a zero. So you've got 140. So I'm going to add my 140 over here. And then finally, I've got just the basic fact, 8 times 7. If you wanted to count, you would see I've got 56. So let's go ahead and put a box around those two as well. So what I have now are four partial products. 6. 12, that's 17, so that's 476. If you wanted to stop and count on the screen, you would actually count 476 squares all right here. That's actually what I just colored in right here is 476 squares. Now, how can we do this without an area model? That's what we call the standard algorithm. So let me show you how we do it the old fashioned way. It's a little bit quicker, but the area model helps us see why it works. So we're going to kind of do what we did in the area model. We're going to multiply each section in part. So we're going to multiply this 1 times the 1s of the 28. So that's going to be 56. And then 56 showed up right there. But we're going to carry the 5. And we're going to add that back later. So 2 times 4 is 14. That's that 140, because remember the, the 2 is in the 10s the place. So it's really 140. I'm going to add that 5 back in, so that's going to be 19. Now we're going to go to this next place value right here. We're going to go 1 times 8 is 8. That's 80 because we're in the 10 spot. And then 1 times 2 is 2. That's 200. So then you're going to get 476. 